Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Welcome to part two of my 3DS eShop video tour series. Previously, I introduced the series as kind of going through the 3DS eShop before it closes and showing everyone what it looked like. Just like I did for the DSi shop and the Wii Shop channel. I also showed several pages of the instructions here. There we go. I showed several pages of the instruction manual. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing through the instruction manual. I need to adjust my microphone position. Hang on. Okay, this this might be a little better. I don't know. I'm not in a very good place in a very good recording setup. So this will have to be how it is. Um, anyway, I gotta move my mouse over here. Um, so we've gone through these pages here and now, okay the light's blinking over there, and now I'm going to be continuing to the next one. Here's how it showed downloading software in the 3DS eShop. Don't worry, next in the next part, I'm going to actually be showing the eShop properly instead of just going through the manual. This is just archival like I did for the DSi and Wii, DSi shop and Wii shop channel. So you tap, do tap here to purchase to proceed to download and you see information about the price, such as the price of the download if applicable. Now you don't see the download size before you purchase it, which is a problem. So, so for the 3DS and Wii U, uh, and also I think the Wii and DSi shop, uh, you had to look up online games, game and application sizes to make sure it would fit before you bought it. I don't, I don't know what happened if you tried to buy one that was too large for your system for your storage, it would probably say, oh, we can't download it. I would hope it would say, oh, it's too large. Wait, the Wii U. I know the Wii U does actually say there's not enough space to buy this. So I think it would say, oh, there's not enough space. Because when I bought Xenoblade X, it said, oh, we can't buy this because you don't have enough space to download it right now. So I grabbed a hard drive out of my drawer, the 750 gigabyte one that I had been, that I originally used for my computer, repurposed it as a driver X, and then bought and downloaded it, and that was that. It'll tell you the price of the download, if applicable. If something's free, it'll be free. Or an update, or something like that. Or a video, you know, there there were some trailers I think you could download. Maybe not. I might be remembering incorrectly. I know you could watch them. So you can scroll the screen up and down. The screen showing the download methods will also be displayed. Tap your desired method to select it. Huh, I'm not sure. If an update's available for the software, you can download it by tapping Update Software after the purchase or download of the software is complete. So, uh, no automatic updates, like on the Wii U. Oh, also, I forgot to mention the Switch does show you the file size before you buy something. Uh, when the download is complete, a gift icon, seen there, will be displayed on the Home menu. Download later. Use this option, oh that's the other download option I guess, to download software later using the Spot Pass feature. The software you purchase is downloaded when you put the system into sleep mode. Select this option when you want to continue shopping or when you want to download multiple software, title, software titles together at a later time. You can download up to 10 software titles together in the download later mode. The gift icon on the home menu will blink until the download is complete. You cannot download in sleep mode while the while Nintendo Zone Viewer or Nintendo DS slash DSi software is active. I think that's because um, it puts 
my guess is that it puts the 3DS into a sort of DS slash DSi mode similar to how it uh, except it allows you to change the brightness when you hold select and do the d-pad I think or no the home button push the home button and then hold select and then the d-pad I think is what it would let you do to change the brightness on the 3ds which is really nice and it kind of disappoints me that there's no quick brightness change on non-ds slash dsi titles uh, and I and I think it goes into a similar mode to how it did apparently for the the GBA games, the Ambassador games that you could get if you were if you bought a 3DS within the first year of its launch. Apparently, it would put it into um, a GBA mode to slow it down to the speed of a GBA to emulate it. At least that's what I heard. And so it could, it can't function, apparently can't function like a proper 3DS, I heard, while it's in the GBA mode. So it might be similar with that, because you can't go to the home screen unless you quit the DS or DSi games or software. The software downloads through SpotPass. However, the notification LED, this thing right here, right there. It's not really all that visible, uh, but I'll try to bring it up and brighten it in editing. Will not light up when the download... Oh, so it doesn't make the light light up when it's complete. Hmm. I feel like that's a bit of a missing opportunity there. Uh, I download now. Immediately starts the download. If the download process fails dirt before completion, it will continue via spot pass at a later time. Enter sleep mode to start the download. This reminds me... Uh, it's a bit unrelated, but I just remembered how on my old modem router combo unit, I had to turn off the firewall because it would not allow, whenever I was downloading 3DS eShop games, because it would just not allow it to complete. Um, and it would just... Uh, I'll show this later on, but you know how the boxes go across and they go... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and they go, they move across and go... Dun, 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 like that. They would just have hooks with no boxes going across. And silently dropping the things boxes even though there were no boxes and then it would say oh we can't we can't do it and so I found I don't know where it was it might have been on Nintendo's website uh, instructions to turn off the instructions to turn off the firewall so that it could just go through on its own so that was I didn't like that so I only did that temporarily when I was downloading games and then I literally turned it back on. I had it on my phone on my on my that was probably my um my Lumia 822 at the time. I would leave it on there in Internet Explorer mobile and then turn it back on right when it was done downloading. No need to do that with my new router that I've had for uh, since 2014 I think. 2015 maybe? I don't remember. A long time though. It'll con if it fails before completion, it'll continue via spot pass at a later time. Enter sleep mode to start the download. Changing download method. Even after selecting download later, you can still download immediately by selecting re-download from the title, oops, title information screen for the software and selecting download now. Saving software. The save destination varies depending on the type of software you're downloading. SD card. Nintendo can be used for a Nintendo 3DS download software and virtual console titles. System memory is used for Nintendo DSiWare. Probably just simpler to do it like that for backwards compatibility reasons. If your balance is insufficient, you will need to add funds to your account. Page Page 8. I'm really tired. 
Yeah, it's hard to read. Uh, if you purchase or download a title on your wish list, it will automatically be removed from the list. Data can be lost due to user actions such as repeatedly powering off and on the system or removing a game card or SD card while saving. Data loss may also be caused by poor connectivity due to dirt or dust in the system's ports. Please be aware that in these cases, data cannot be restored. That pretty much goes for anything with data. Adding funds. Tap Card Plus on the main menu to display the Add Funds screen. Like I said before, I'll be going over this in videos that I recorded a while ago, before this was removed. Uh, you will need one of the following in order to add funds to your balance. A Nintendo eShop card, a credit card. Uh, in my experience, it works okay with the debit card, but I think it has to work, it has to have a debit card that can work as a credit card. Uh, redeem a Nintendo eShop card. Select this option if you want to add funds from a Nintendo eShop card. Can't do that anymore. But I have video, like I said, I have videos showing how you would do that. And I also have eShop cards right here. This one, I also used these two. I used these two eShop cards. I used those two eShop cards in the video. I'll go into more detail on that in a much later video. Adding funds using a credit card. Select this option if you wish to add funds using a credit card. You can view the details of your purchases in account activity, page, page 12. You can store your credit card information so the next time you want to use your credit card to make a purchase or add funds to your balance, you can simply enter the security password you set up when you stored your credit card information. Entering the credit card information management password incorrectly three times will result in deletion of the stored credit card information. If you forget your password, delete your credit card information and add it again. Or just do it three times and then it'll do it for you. Hooray! If you change the country in, in region settings located in the profile page of system settings, the stored credit card information will be deleted when you start the Nintendo eShop. So you can't, it's not region, 3DS and Wii U were not region free like the Switch is, which is a problem on the 3DS and Wii U. I'm very glad that the Switch is region free. If you transfer your, s your system to someone else or dispose of it, please erase your credit card information beforehand. It can be erased in Review Credit Card Information, page 13. Watching videos. Oh, this is a new section. Yay. Watching videos. Select videos from the screen such as the title information screen to watch software related videos. That's the video player. There's the scrub bar, pause, name of the video, software information. Yeah, software information that goes to the page for the game or application or whatever. And then up here is the time. Yeah, playtime, video duration, play bar, drag the block with the stylus to change the playback position. I wonder if you can like tap around on it like on YouTube. Oops, no. So pause button, video information the name of the video and stuff like that, and view title information. Wait. So software information. Move to the software's title information screen. Video or audio may be interrupted during playback depending on the quality of the internet connection. You cannot save videos to the system memory or SD card. Okay, so I was mistaken on this but there are some videos that you can download, I think. I mean, there, there's that Dinosaur Office one that is preloaded. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Submitting ratings. Tap the... I don't know what that icon is. Genuinely, I do not know what that means. On the main menu to submit ratings for software that you have played for at least one hour on your system. You'll be asked five questions such as how you rate the software. Oh, okay, so there's more than one question. Nice. Please share your ratings with us. Totals for ratings will be calculated for Nintendo by Nintendo and published in Ratings, page 6. In Charts, page 11. You can submit one rating per software title per system. 
You cannot submit ratings for a software title if you are younger than the age rating category it falls under. You cannot submit ratings for Nintendo DS or Nintendo DSi game card software. There were some, apparently there were a few Nintendo DSi game card game cartridge cartridge games that you needed a DSi for. I don't have any of those, but I guess they exist. I saw that there was a video that someone made Scott the Waz, I think, made a video on that. I think. I don't remember entirely. It was someone. It was probably him. Or Nintendo DSi game card software. Additionally, there may be certain other software titles for which you cannot submit ratings. You can see your submitted ratings in your ratings, page 13. Charts. Tap that icon on the main menu to view software charts. Oh yeah, it's like a... I mean, it kind of looks like a looks like Mio's weapon, but also that's like a ribbon thing. On the main menu to view software charts based on ratings. I don't even remember what it's called right now. Like the more generic term from two. On the main menu to view software charts based on ratings, video charts based on popularity, and more. The screen can be scrolled vertically. Recent releases lists the most popular software the past two weeks. All software lists the most popular software to date. Recent ratings list software that has been rated in the past 12 weeks in order of user ratings, number of stars. Recently popular lists the most viewed videos of the past two weeks. For details on how Nintendo calculates totals for submitted um, ratings, see page 15. If two or more titles share a position in the charts, they will be listed in order of the most recent release date. Well, what if they are both on the same release date? Maybe then it's by name. Um, it's just my guess. I don't know how that would happen. Filtering the charts. Tap sort by when viewing charts to filter the chart by platform. Account activity. Select account activity from the menu that shopping bag with a wrench in the main menu to view records of the content that you've downloaded or funds that you've added. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Account activity. Displays information such as the title of your downloaded content and its cost. Account activity list. Account activity will be displayed in order of the most recent activity. Tap view receipt to check the receipt. For details on deleting your account, see the delete account on page 13. I'm not going to do that. I have, I, yeah. I don't have a spare 3DS to show that. And I'm also not going to do that on my, on the Wii U series because I don't have a spare Wii U. Tap the shopping bag with a wrench on the main menu to set notification settings, view your account activity, and more. Functions. Redeem download code. Input a download code to download that software title free of charge. Scan QR code. Oh, I, I can't do this. I can't do. I can't show redeeming a download code or scanning a QR code. I'm sorry. Just simply because I don't have any examples for that. You can scan QR code patterns that contain the following information: download codes, Nintendo eShop card numbers, links to titles in the Nintendo eShop, history, updates. I don't, I don't know of any of the ones that do a link to titles. I don't know where I would easily find an example of that. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe in like YouTube videos or something, but I would probably have to go digging. History. Updates. Downloaded software with available updates will appear in a list. Select the software you wish to update and tap update. Account activity. Page 12. Redownloadable software. View the list of software titles that you can that can be redownloaded. Tap your downloads to see all of the software titles you've downloaded so far in the Nintendo eShop. Your ratings. View details of your ratings to date. Settings. Home menu notifications. Choose whether you would like also like to receive notifications from the Nintendo eShop and notifications found on the system's home menu. I'll be showing that in a minute. Software recommendations from Nintendo. Select yes to receive Nintendo eShop software recommendations from Nintendo. 
doesn't really explain what goes on with that, but hey, it's the same thing as it, that the title says. Pretty much. Review credit card information. You can review or erase your credit card information. If you transfer your system to someone else or dispose of it, please be sure to erase your credit card information beforehand. Other. About Nintendo eShop. Displays details about the Nintendo eShop service. Delete account. Should you delete your Nintendo eShop account, the following data will be deleted. Account balance. Purchase slash downloaded content. Purchase slash... Purchase slash download history. Please be careful when using this option, as you will also lose the ability to do, oops, to do the following. Redownload purchased or previously downloaded con software titles. Launch software saved to an SD card because I think it's like encrypted with your thing or something. I don't know. This option will not be displayed if your system is linked to a Nintendo Network ID. If this is to cause... That, that's just a guess. I don't know. The, the encryption thing. Oh, deleting it will not be displayed if your system is linked to a Nintendo Network ID, which mine is. If this is the case, you will need to delete your Nintendo Network ID in order to delete, delete your Nintendo eShop account. Refer to the System Settings Electronic Manual for more information. Verify Download Status. Updates you regarding the status of your current downloads. Oh, I'll be able to show that. Tap this if a software title you are trying to get will not download. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I'll be able to show that, actually. It's much easier to do it on the Wii U. Because you can just push the home button and it'll just... There's just a button to go to the downloads. Which I did archive how that it shows up. Customer support. Here you will find information regarding customer support for Nintendo eShop, including contact information for Nintendo and for publishers of Nintendo eShop titles. Language setting. Here you can set the language in which Nintendo eShop is displayed. You must restart the Nintendo eShop in order to see the effects of a change to the setting. When you configure this setting, changes will only apply within the Nintendo eShop. Location settings. Confirm, change, or delete your address information. Address information is used to calculate sales tax for purchases. When you configure this setting, changes will only occur within the Nintendo eShop. Question and answers. Purchasing software. How do I pay for software? The cost of the software will be deducted from the funds that you have registered to your system beforehand. Page 8. Can I purchase Wii U software via Nintendo eShop on a Nintendo 3DS system? No. Wii U software can only be purchased on Nintendo eShop via Nintendo eShop on the Wii U. What can I use to add funds? You can use the following. Nintendo eShop card, credit card. Depending on your location, available options for adding funds may differ. You cannot use the following. A Wii Points card. Nintendo DSi Points card. I think at one point they kind of combined those two, if I remember correctly. Sadly, I still haven't been able to find my Wii Points card. I'm sorry. Where can I buy a Nintendo eShop card? Nintendo eShop cards can be bought from retail outlets that sell Nintendo products. So, like, I bought mine from GameStop because I wanted to not buy too much. I, I figured that they would have a much broader selection of eShop cards than the store. They didn't. I didn't want to buy $20 eShop cards, but I did, I was like, oh, right, I'll, this, this is for the content, this is just for the content, and then I did end up using that money to buy a digital, I put that toward a digital version of Xenoblade 3 so that I could play it as soon as possible after launch while I waited for my physical version to ship, to, to get to me. And that's just to avoid spoilers and everything. Plus, I was really excited. It's a really good game. But anyway, I was like, oh, I'll just go to GameStop. Maybe they'll have more of a selection so that I can spend less money on eShop cards and just show it as an example. They didn't... I think I had a... I, I think my card got stolen again at GameStop. And this this was before they announce their NFTs, so don't worry. Of course, I I don't do NFTs. I, I hate them. So yeah, I did that. 
Uh, you can also get them at quite a few stores, I think. Like in the checkout lane, you know, where they have the candy bars and all the gift cards and all that stuff and like beef jerky and stuff like that and batteries and, you know, check out goodies that they want you to spend a little extra money on. Uh, so yeah, th that's in the stores. Also, like, game stores often have them. Also online, I think you can do that too. But I wanted to have the physical... the physical cards. To show on camera. And I made sure that GameStop would be giving me the physical cards because I heard that they only do it on... they only put it on the receipt. So, yeah. So, actually, I can show you the back of it. Let me see. Oh, this doesn't mention the... Oh, this only mentions for the Switch. Wait. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I actually have two different ones. Yo, this is really cool. Okay. Nintendo eShop card. For use on Nintendo Switch. Nintendo eShop card. For use on Nintendo systems. Sorry if that's a little hard to read. Yeah, otherwise they seem identical. And then on the back... It says, earn gold points. Earn gold points when you um, use this card to buy an eligible game. And all that there. And this actually says, for use with these systems, Nintendo Switch, th Nintendo 3DS, and Wii U. Incredible, huh? I didn't think that I would actually manage to buy two completely different kinds of eShop gift cards. Wow. It's neat. There's uh, information I'm going to be covering up. Probably having to cover up some stuff. But yeah, there's two completely different eShop gift cards. I didn't even know that that was possible. Wow, okay. Inadvertently archiving two different versions of the eShop gift cards. And they both worked on 3DS and Wii U. Of course, if you're wondering. I did one on 3DS and one on Wii U. To show how you would redeem them on both. Okay. How do I use Nintendo eShop cards? Scratch the back of the card to reveal the concealed 16 character uh, activation code. Enter this code to register funds. You know what I did with mine? Instead of that, it just had a peel here. Or no, peel off. It just said peel off. See? Peel off. And I would just... Just on the back of it. Oh. It's just... It's just like... Yeah, here's the code. It's like... It was like that. And then I just peeled it off. Of course, not, not that easily. From the corner. From the peel corner right here. There we go. That was on both of them. What kind of what kinds of credit cards can I use? You can use Visa and Mastercard credit cards, so no American Express. Apparently. I would assume that's because Nintendo probably also doesn't like the fees that I have heard. That I, I I've heard about, but I am uncertain. As I have not actually done research on it. I've just heard about it. Can I use my the balance on my Wii U console to purchase items? If this system and your Wii U console are linked to the same Nintendo Network ID, an, an, like an interlink, then the balances for both are added together and can be used on either, which is very nice. And uh, you can also link with your Switch. On your Switch you can merge funds so that you can even still, until March 27, 2023, you can add funds on the Switch eShop and then use them on the 3DS and Wii U. I'm going to actually be doing that. Have to do that because apparently Nintendo Switch Online takes out your eShop balance. Which is a problem because I was already preparing to have a certain amount ready when I buy the games in a later part. Where can I find the code I got when I bought software? You can find the code on your receipt. To find your receipt, go to the Nintendo eShop main menu and then select menu settings slash other account activity view receipt for the specific title this will display your receipt scroll down until the code is displayed software 
Are instruction manuals available for software acquired from the Nintendo eShop? Yes. Tap the icon for the software title on the system's home menu. And then tap manual in the bottom left. It'll be around in here. Um, it's like about this wide. About that wide or so. At least in English. I don't know how wide it is in other languages. On the system's home menu and then tap manual to read the manual for the software. Do I have to pay to do re-download purchase software? No. Unless you have deleted your account. Page 13. Please note that there are certain cases where software may be temporarily or permanently withdrawn from the Nintendo eShop such as the Four Swords Anniversary Edition, the re-release on the 3DS eShop. So if you missed it on the DSi shop, you could download it for free on 3DS, which, fun fact, that was my first Zelda game. That's what got me into the series. I mean, hey, it's free. Well, I'll tell you a quick story, and then we'll get back to this. So, back in 2013... I got a notification about Link Between Worlds being released, and I was like, oh, okay. I, I don't really care that much. And then I got a second notification, and I was like, oh, this is weird. I'm going to check it out. And turns out, apparently it glitched or something, and it was actually, I assume, the Four Swords Anniversary re-release re notification. So I was like, oh, I I'll download it. Just... You know, it's free, why not? Free game. Could be fun. If Even if I don't like it, who cares? And I was like, oh, this is actually really fun. Strangely enough, I don't actually like top-down Zelda games, but it's, it's really good. Maybe that's the Four Swords part of it being actually a very fun top-down game. Temporarily or permanently withdrawn from Nintendo eShop. Should this happen, you will no longer be able to re-download that software. Actually, I don't... I think you can re-download it if you delete it. But you can't download it new. At least now. Data management. Where is downloaded software saved? The download destination varies depending on the type of software. SD card for the 3DS, download software, and virtual console titles. We just went over this. System memory, Nintendo, DSi, where? That's where that goes. Can software be moved or copied between the system memory and the SD card? You can only do this with Nintendo DSiWare. Additionally, software saved to an SD card cannot be used on other systems. But you know what you can do? You can copy the entire contents of your SD card to your computer and copy it to a larger SD card to upgrade your SD card, which is what I did when I decided to download uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. It's a really fun game. It's doesn't age that well, uh, technically and stuff like that, but it, it looks really nice on the 3DS, I'll, I'll say that much. And the, the Grezzo, I think, that's, I think that's how it's pronounced. They did a really good job with porting it, and I'm really glad that they kept, like, certain glitches, I, I guess. Like the Infinite Sword glitch, I think they kept in a certain way. It's different in the 3DS version, but they, it still exists last I knew. Nintendo DSiWare cannot be launched from an SD card, unlike on the Wii, where you could temporarily have the Wii, where you could launch from the SD card menu. You could launch a game, and it would just kind of give it, give it its own area in the Wii system memory to run from. You could do that. But you can't, you could do that on the Wii, but apparently you can't do that on the 3DS. Nintendo 3DS download cons, download software. Virtual console titles cannot be copied or moved to the system memory. I assume because it's just too big, probably. I don't know. But virtual console, I'm not sure about that. And smaller titles, I don't know. Nintendo Network ID. Can I use the account balance associated with my Nintendo Network ID on other devices? There's a lot here. The, the account balance associated with your Nintendo Network ID may also be used on a Wii U console to which that same Nintendo Network ID is linked. Please note that you cannot link a single Nintendo Network ID to multiple systems in the 3DS family. That That's weird. Why would they do it like that? What good does it do you? Uh, notifications. Can notifications be sent to notifications 
in my system's home menu. You can configure this in home menu notifications under settings slash other, page 13. Oh good, we're done with the Q&A. Next page. Oh, and you can also push left and right to go between those. How ratings are, how, how totals are calculated. It's kind of weird to put this at the very end, but I mean, I, I guess it's other stuff or whatever the thing is. User rating titles and rate titles and viewing to titles for totals for videos are calculated in the following ways. User ratings. An average, oops, an average is calculated from the user ratings received fee of rate titles and displayed in half star units. Rating calculations start when the first rating is received. In order to calculate the average more accurately, a percentage of the highest and lowest ratings are ignored during calculation. Software charts. The number of submissions for each title is totaled, and titles that have received 20 or more submissions are, oops, are displayed in order of the highest user ratings. Video charts. The number of times a video has been viewed on a Nintendo eShop is totaled, and the videos are displayed in order of the highest number of views. I wonder, I wonder what counts as a view, if it's like 3 seconds or something, like YouTube, or whatever it is. Or if it's like, if you click on it, that's a view. I don't know. Timing of updates. The totals are recalculated and updated every three hours. New ratings and video views are not immediately reflected in the total. Depending on system conditions, calculation time may change, or updates may take more time to be reflected on the Nintendo eShop. Now you can go back. And there's a nice sound. And you can scroll through here. And if you notice, up here, it kind of gives a dotted line around things. Can't tap on the top screen, obviously. And then there's stuff here. And you can also press the A button. And B button to go between them. And then you can press the A button and the X button. You can use the X button to exit to the home menu. Or use the home button at the bottom. Either one. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go into notifications. And then show this. And after this, we'll be done. Important eShop news. The use of credit cards in the... Oh, that's... Oh, you can't put it on top. The use of credit cards in this device's Nintendo eShop will end on May 23rd, 2022. To learn what you can do with any remaining funds in your wallet, visit support.nintendo.com slash 3DS slash eShop. Important eShop news. As of late March 2023, now we know it's March 27th, 2023, it will no longer be possible to make Nintendo eShop purchases for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. More info here. And you can launch the internet browser. And then here's something about Kirby, something about Tomodachi Life, YouTube. Oh, at the end of August, the YouTube app for Nintendo 3DS family systems will be removed. Oh, it, it puts the thing up there. Huh, weird. The other ones didn't appear. Will be removed from Nintendo eShop as the service is ending. Owners of new Nintendo 3DS XL, new Nintendo 3DS, or Nintendo 2DS XL systems will still be able to watch YouTube through the built-in inter internet browser, I assume because it actually uses HTML5, which I was super happy about when they announced that. Thank you for using the YouTube app. I barely used it. Oh, it goes up there. Cool, huh? And it puts outlines around it. Interesting. I barely used the YouTube app on the 3DS because it was like, it was like 240p. And it's like, no, this is way too low resolution. I'm sorry. And there's like, uh, oh, here's now available. Bye bye box boy. And this is actually an eShop notification. So I'm just going to kind of, this isn't the focus, game, uh, specific game information isn't necessarily the focus, but this is what, um, this is what it would look like to get a notification from the eShop. So it talks about the game, rating, 
uh, copyrights and stuff like that. Um, copyright 2017. Amiibos. And you can opt out of notifications for this title. And then you can launch software. I'm going to go... And it just tells you now available. And Mario Sports Superstars. Wait, what was this on? This was on the 3DS? Oh, I don't even remember. I genuinely do not remember Mario Sports game being on the 3DS. Mario and Sonic doesn't count because that's a little different from Mario Sports. Celebrate E3 2015 with us in nice nice uh, header image. Celebrate E3 2015 with savings on a big batch of games for both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS systems. You'll get up to 30% off select titles related to some of the top franchises being featured at the show, including Mario, The Legend of Zelda. Oh, I know that was 2016 when they really showed off Breath of the Wild. Uh, Legos, Just Dance, Just Dance is Eternal. Yeah. The the last Wii version was like 2017, I think. 2018? I don't know. Uh, no, 2019. It was like 2019. Just Dance, Yoshi, and more. Don't miss out. This offer ends June 23rd. Ah, nice day. A 59 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, Nintendo. And then, actually, system updates. Yay. Oh, and that stays up there. Ah, I see. Oh, and this was the update 9.6.0. I mean, dash 24U. That was the one that had a new home menu layout option to the home menu settings. It allowed users to save and load up to eight different versions of the home menu, customized with themes and software icons. The theme shop will also receive new categories under the View More button, making it easier to browse. Ah, oh, nice. I didn't know about that one. Oh, and this one doesn't have a launch title. Um, be ready for launch? What was this? Oh yeah, this was a free to play or free to start or something game with Mario and Mario and Puzzle Mario and Mario and Puzzle Dragon Z Yes, I live in the US Home menu settings. Oh, that's nice. It tells you about home menu settings. Wait, was this added as a setting? No. I don't know. System update available. Yay! A, a smashing free demo. Uh, the Smash 3DS, bro, Smash 3DS for, yeah. Game arrives October 3rd, but you can start playing now. Head over to the Nintendo eShop for the free demo today. Uh, more information. A Nintendo Network ID is required to download this demo. Oh, so that's an example of demos that you need Nintendo Network IDs for. Download. Oh, but I went over that. Super smashing sale, week two. So these are about various fighters that you can save money on back in 2014. So long ago. Um, oh, Steel Diver Sub Wars. This was, oh, free game. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's what the, um, oh yeah, and the, the paid version. Free to play with the paid version. Um, Super smashing sale. Oh, there were, I think there were two. No, wait. No, there... Okay, never mind. I got confused. There were just two of them. One with Mario and one with Link in the header. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3? On the 3DS? Oh, yeah, okay. I got confused because that's actually the Virtual Console version. Not the... That's the NES version. The Wii U has the Game Boy Advance version. Super Mario Advance, I mean. And there's just Hulu Plus ad, YouTube. Yay, we're so excited with 
YouTube on 3DS and also on the Wii and Wii U. Discover and watch your favorite videos and channels on YouTube with your Nintendo 3DS system. From comedy to music to sports, find the channels you love. Watching a video is just the beginning when you can like, share, comment, and more. And subscribe! You used to be able to rate five stars uh, a long time ago. Well, you could rate from one to five stars. But people ask you to rate five stars. I only know that because of Trucker Connery's really old videos. And the description was like on the right side because of Stephen Vlog. Old Stephen Vlog videos. By signing into YouTube, you can easily access your subscribed channels, playlists, and favorites from any device, including Wii and Wii U. YouTube for Nintendo 3DS is free. To download it, simply tap the YouTube icon on your home menu. Oh, that was a, um, uh, they, they auto downloaded it for you. An all new Zelda adventure? Oh, this is Link Between Worlds. Is this the Link Between Worlds? Was that the glitched one, I think? Pokemon Bank. Nintendo Network ID. Download Nintendo Video. Important information, what's this? Oh yeah, this was about when um, uh, Nintendo got rid of the sending swap note stuff to other people. Which was, I know that there were people that were disappointed because, like, it was super useful, but, like, at the same time, when stuff like this happens, that's a problem. I, I mean, what I mean is, like, sending that kind of content is a problem, obviously. Oh, and here's the other all-new Zelda Adventure one. So, yeah, I think... This one up here, this one was glitched or something. I got it a second time and then it showed up. And, um, let me see. Is there anything about, oh, huh, new software via Spot Pass. You can now automatically receive spot software via Spot Pass. Put your system into sleep mode uh, someplace and where it can connect to the internet and you might just find new software. Add it to the home menu when you open the system again. Keep an eye out for new arrivals. Note, to receive software, go to System Settings, then select Internet Settings, Spot Pass, and then turn Automatic Software Downloads on. So that's about it for this video. But before we leave... Oh yeah, and then you can have a nice... Shows a nice um, 3D thing there. Sorry about that. So you can uh, make them spin around and stuff, which is really neat. Uh, it's, it's already an hour in the recording. What I'm going to do this time is open the eShop from here. And then I'm going to just kind of talk about what we're going to do next time. So next time, what we're going to be doing is, um, we're going to be going through the menu up here. Cool, huh? So that's what we're going to do next time. Um, of course I'll just do, give a brief overview of this area, and then we're going to go over here. 
So, um, see you in part three.